engagements on the Oracle here. A good willing axe here by the troll. Rubik is making lots of plays this game. Is he going down? He is. Oh, quite low here. Oh no, another oh, no. snatch for the pipe. being slowed quite crazily by this ball. Gets nuked down. Good for BSR. Oh, no, no, Shakira no, doing all he can is battling to stay alive. His HP is dropping here quite quickly. Early pressure. Yes. Doing well for them here. Oh, uh, Mint, uh, oh, there's some uh, engagements on the Oracle here. He is pumping. Oh, oh here we go. Pudge oh, about he might get, get an X. Can he get an X? He can. Oh, Pudge actually no. panics a bit there. Might have actually gotten away. Nice torrent here. Looks like Urshak is coming in. Gets hit with the torrent straight away. Two big ABs. Pudge is dead. Anti Mage blinks in, wasting the blink. He might actually fall here too. Is there a lot of lockdown to keep him down? Yes, there is. He's gone. Oh, looks like more action here. Pudge gets caught by a torrent. It looks like Pudge actually might drop here. A good bit of malice. Pudge gets an eat off. Anti Mage jumping the back line like we we're talking about, Grant. He gets eaten by a, a Rubik steal. Oh no! It's like a base race. Oh no, oh, no Q, we're seeing a base race here. It looks like Troll's actually not getting much here. He's oh, getting planted. No. And Yules, Shakira and brought Troll. back to fight him. Troll rushing the. Troll rushing. No, he, he, he wants it. Oh, very okay. He brought he back. That was a great play. He brought. Yeah. He died to buy back. He didn't have a TP. He, he wants yeah, to this. Play, what a Troll. great play there. Interesting, and he, he will get the Ricky gets, here. Beautiful. He gets the Aegis, he drops, he pops the Aegis on the Ricky. There's going to be a great pull here by the Void Spirits, but BKB oh, on no. the Ricky stops it. Oh, word. This is turning great out to play, be great. Oh. Yeah, what a ending. There's the fans. Oh, oh the man, he might there. actually root the Ricky here. He doesn't. Mars got some, he gets an ulti on the OD. OD manages to bubble himself. Earthshaker looking in to help him out, but he gets Yul's here. Looks like OD's going to drop. Oh, no. Oh, but no, he's a liquid. Earthshaker gets a great fish. Another enchant totem to aftershock then. Oh man, it looks like he's also gonna drop here. Yeah. Oh, dissimilating a bit long there, but much. Great play by oh. Troll there. Monkey King Monkey LT there. going up. Earthshaker's in a lot of trouble. This does not look good for BSR. Oh, no. Jukira doing all he can with an ice path on the backup. It looks like there's a, oh, there's a barback there's a Earthshaker. Hard, yeah. Big Lich LT. Beastmaster is dead. Sweat gear are kind of pulling this back, but Wraith King has come back from his reincarnation. Earthshaker LT happening yeah. up here. This is insane.
engagements on the Oracle here. A good willing Axie about the troll. Rubik is making lots of plays this game. Is he going down? He is. Oh, quite low here. Oh no, another All snitch. Right. It's the being slowed quite crazily by this yeah. ball. Gets Getting nuked down. Good for BSR. Oh, no. okay. no. Shakira no. doing all he can is battling to stay alive. His HP is dropping here quite quickly. Early pressure. He's doing well for them here. Oh, uh, Mint, uh, oh there's some uh, engagements on the Oracle here. He is pumping. Oh, the, oh here we go. Pudge, oh, oh, he might yes. get an X. Can he get an X? He can. Oh, Pudge actually no. panics a bit there. Might have actually gotten away. Nice torrent here. Looks like Urshak is coming in. Gets hit with the torrent straight away. Two big ABs. Pudge is dead. Anti Mage blinks in, wasting the blink. He might actually fall here too. Is there a lot of lockdown to keep him down? Yes, there is. He's gone. Oh, looks like more action here. Pudge gets caught by a torrent. It looks like Pudge actually might drop here. A good bit of malice. Pudge gets an eat off. Anti Mage jumping the back line like we were talking about, Grant. He gets eaten by a, a Rubik steal. Oh no! It's like a base race. Oh, oh no, no Q, we're seeing a base race here. It looks like Troll's actually not getting much here. He's oh, getting no. planted and Yules. Jakira and brought back to fight him. Troll rushing the... Troll rushing. No, he, he, he wants it over. Okay. He brought he back. That was a great play. He brought... Yeah. He died to buy back. He didn't have a TP. He, he was yeah, fed this. What from a Troll. great play there. Interesting, and he, he will get the Ricky gets, here. Beautiful. He gets the Aegis, he drops, he pops the Aegis on the Ricky. There's gonna be a great pull here by the Void Spirits, but BKB oh, on no. the Ricky stops it. Oh, word. This is turning great out to play, be great. Oh. Yeah, what a end. There's the fans. Oh, oh the man, he might actually that. root the Ricky here. He doesn't. Mars got some, he gets an ulti on the OD. OD manages to bubble himself. Earthshake looking in to help him out, but he gets yours here. Looks like OD's gonna drop. Oh, no. Oh, but no, he's a liquid. Earthshake gets a great fissure. Another enchant totem to aftershock then. Oh man, it looks like he's also gonna drop here. Yeah. Like Dissimilating a bit ends long up there, but great play by wow. Troll there. Monkey, Monkey King LT there. going up. Earthshake is in a lot of trouble. This does not look good for BSR. Oh, no. Jakira doing all he can with an ice path on the backup. It looks like there's a, oh, a barback bar Earthshaker. Hard, yeah. Big Lich LT. Beastmaster is dead. Sweat gear kind of pulling this back, but Wraith King has come back from his reincarnation. Earthshaker <laughs> ulti happening yeah. up here. This is insane.
All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome to tonight's game. 
we have MWG versus Nukem Jukem, and with us tonight we have Q Thang with me as always, and we have a guest panelist with us, B Radicals. Hey everyone. So welcome, B Rad. Thank you. Glad you have You're glad to have you with us. Original members of one of the teams playing tonight. What not team was that, it, Brad? One to a specific team. It was the MWG OG team. Oh, MWG OG. Yes, oh, we were here before Zells, and we just got so big that we formed a second team. And then awesome, we got bad and abandoned the team. No one needs yeah. to know that. You think. <laughs> <laughs> so that we got really busy at work, and then we couldn't play anymore together. Yeah, yeah. Brad moved to Cape Town. Yeah, yeah. Great idea. That, because actually, you two are also original me original members of the MWG, MWG OG. So you're talking about yourselves as well. Yeah. So you, it's yeah, like, yeah. we might be ready to get going soon. Awesome. Um, there oh, we again. go, I'll chopper you. I'm just waiting for I'll chopper as well. I think they've been having problems with the internet apparently. MWG and Nukem Jukem have their offlaner who's fallen asleep apparently. <laughs> so it's just delayed things. Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay. MWG, all out of the party. All just left. Oh, bye, yeah. boys and girls. <laughs> what yeah, the? Okay. Making very good joins and then the rest of them leave. Yeah. Well, it's going to be an interesting clash. We've seen one, a lot of new people. Can... Okay, everyone's one leaving now. Maybe there's a Is new lobby. I'm casting. Wow. I don't Dr know. Drama what, and the game hasn't now? even started. Are we making a new lobby or something? <laughs> I'm not sure. We we left here. <laughs> We're going to ca oh, sorry, cast a, a, ghost, a ghost game here. Looks like right. something's happening here. Yeah? Turning into a 1v1, I'll cast you guys versus each other. Oh, there oh, we go. Yeah, They're back. Rejoining. Oh, no, I'm the host. Back. How are you the host? Okay. Everyone left, so now Okay, I'm well let's let's leave it. No, let's leave the The lobby, yes. Yeah, I'll leave the lobby. I've left. And then let's go in again. Sorry folks. Um whoever's watching. Um just having a little issue here. Everyone going in and out of the game. In and out of the lobby, sorry. Okay, there we go. It looks like um you guys can join. Yo, um Oh, there I, can't see, I can't see it. Yeah, I just oh, pressed toggle go. broadcast channel. So. Found it. There we go. Okay. So, Brad, um, do you know... Oh, wait, I should actually say, I don't know if you guys, your viewers can see the pop-ups here on um, the stream. There's fine tech up at the moment. Brad is actually the owner. What are you, Brad? The owner of fine tech? Uh, uh Owner and founder of Fine Tech, yes. We've we've uh, sponsored quite a few um, Dota 2 tournaments before, um, with, but the website is currently down because we're doing some maintenance on it to bring up a new website soon. Awesome. So, yeah, that's great. So what do you do? What does the company do? So it's like we always we always thought that, you know, we, we're looking at um, finding like the, the most affordable online tech store and like having prices that are not like a, that are not like crazy like your incredible connections and all the other online retailers yeah. um so we're just trying to also better the Dota 2 community we're waiting for another big competition to come out so we can sponsor them um and things like that so we're just trying to better the, the gaming the esports community in south africa through our own websites oh awesome man and i've gotten a few things from fine tech as well yeah, I'm literally I'm using the headset right now that I've gotten from. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah everyone, everyone, everyone. We're starting. We're starting. Okay. Yeah. Well, like I was saying earlier, Nukem Jukem, we've been casting a lot of them lately. Um, in the Captain's Mode League tournament that just yep. ended, they did quite well. I think they came, got to semis. Um, yeah, they Coming got like to. That? Yeah, they got to semis. I think. Yeah, yeah we're semis. We cast them on. We cast them on Sunday or Saturday. When was it? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. They're playing very well at the moment. You can, you can. They just, I, I think, one or two matches, especially at semi-final, just slipped away from them. They were up against some yeah. very hard competition. That yeah, that, that um BSL league. Team. Yeah. Yeah. BSL BSL boys. We were the official casters, so we. Unfortunately, that that first team that just beat Jukem did lose in a round or two after that, but then the other BSL team won the whole whole thing. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Um, Dan from Montwood and Tinker. On you, I didn't really see Newcomb playing a lot of Tinker when we were casting them, so maybe they'll know something we don't. 
Yeah, I know. There we go. Maybe they do know something we don't. Tinker Ben. Unless they are just very scared of a Tinker. It's the, the usual buck um, and a Phoenix. Um, do Zoles play a lot of Phoenix? Anyone on them? Um, I don't that? think so. I don't, I don't think so, but... Okay. I, I know actually Tranquilla was talking about a Phoenix at one stage when I was still there. You might, they might be drafting it now, I'm not too sure. Oh, Vlad's drafting at the moment. It's Vlad drafting? Ooh, yeah. I wonder why. Wow. I wonder if El Chapo is just... just there we go, that's an early tanker. Juggernaut. That's what they... I have seen them do this before, pick up the Juggernaut very early because um, they do play it very well. And I guess picking it up early leaves you that four or three ban period to oh, ban out all the, car the carries that counts with. What was that? Sound like we're pausing or yeah, unpausing. Yeah, sound like something. we're pausing. Not too Why sure. Why does it look like Nukem Jukem already have a, a point there? They're juking the system here. <laughs> what do you mean? The point where? Look, 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 look above their the name. It's one of the things already... Oh, <laughs> like... Yeah, that's actually... Uh, they're gonna okay, have well, to fix that, I think. Well, okay, uh, like Matt was saying, the Juggernaut, we've been seeing it picked up a lot second lately by... Who was it? It was BSL. Um, Astro playing it a lot. Um, and it's very versatile because it can go in the offline or on the safe lane. Yeah. Um, second pick Grimstroke. Nukem Jukem going for Lich Outworld Devourer. Outworld, very strong at the moment. Always banned. Seconds. Pretty much. OD as well with the Meteor Hammer pickup is quite quite a thing yeah. to go up against. I've never liked Meteor Hammer, but it seems to be strong at the moment. So I guess I can't um, fight that the meta. Yeah. Ursa ban from Montwood. Oh. Yeah, they, you see, this is, I thought they might do, this is pick up their carry early and then ban carries in this three ban mm -hmm. phase mm -hmm. that counter that juggernaut, I think, later game. Because I, I know how SPD plays, even if he doesn't have a good lane early on a juggernaut, he's he's really good at finding farm. So, I think it's the, the mid game, maybe, that's more of an investment, probably, for this juggernaut. If he does well early, that's even better. I think he's going to go for the Battle Fury build that we've seen them go quite often lately, Juggernauts. Five yeah, I mean... What does he like fighting early? I can't actually remember or think... Yeah, of what he might do, yeah? I'm not too sure. Monkey King Van. That's also yeah, really good against the Juggernauts. We did see one or two Nyx Assassins in this previous tournament. Um, creating a lot of map control actually the next assassin so i may be worried about that against uh on yeah um going for the fifth hands here uh what do you think they well they this is a scrim so they're obviously just trying things out here so we could see some odd picks even not always, uh, not picks that the specific both teams always play, or just trying out new combos. So yeah. Minute 40 left yeah. on the thing here. I mean, so, this yeah. this combo here, Grimstroke and Juggernaut, is a pretty solid combo from MWG. They like to pick this up quite quite a bit. I do though. Yeah. Okay. They put their, what, what, would that be a safe lane? Yes, definitely. El Chapo okay. will pick will play the Grimstroke. He's he's a really good Grimstroke and um, he knows like the timings of the hero, how to like continuously either silence or disable. I can't remember what, how he explained it, but he's really good at that hero. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good combo I guess. Um the slow from the Grimstroke and the that ball thing you put on the guard's head yeah. that stuns. And the silence. It's got a Inkswell, silence. Inkswell, I think it's called. Yeah, Inkswell. Yeah. The silence. Uh, going for the fifth ban here for Nukem Jukem, uh, Zal's ended up banning the un Underlord. Underlord, very irritating to play against. I wonder, have we Order. asked... Yeah, Underlord, definitely hmm? very irritating. But have we asked this question before where if the Fatal... I think it's Fatal Link from Grimstroke. If that Link or something oh. gets... Yeah, that, ulti? yeah, does Juggernaut's ulti double up? Or does it stay as one? 
I'm not sure. It stays as one. That's I just bounce right. between the two heroes. Yeah, even okay. though it's targetable, um, you can't actually do the LD twice. So he only attacks one person at a time. I guess yeah. then, yeah, if it, that makes sense because if he did do it twice, then two juggernauts would come out. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty well, OP. Yeah. I'm sure they'll be picking into their Grimshot pick then. More single target abilities. Oh, there it is! Black oh, hole. yes! <laughs> we, yeah, got we got it! Got Brad, I got my black got hole! It. Okay, Brad, it's reserved for you, buddy, this game. <laughs> you are the black hole half man. Alright, I'm gonna I wait for this. I can't believe this. It has, it has, it has this. to be more than three men. <laughs> I can can't believe them. this, dude. Oh, is oh. that... Okay, well, everyone, enigma pick from guess who, this. guess who we have as a as a viewer at the moment a big shout out to him watching all the way from southeast asia cambodia declan miller oh, hello declan. buddy how declan. are you yeah it's declan, hey, declan. how are you declan <laughs> well a ban here from newcomb jukum uh, mid it seems um ember spits Dull's going for the rubik i, I like the rubik here okay Definitely again. Rubik. Against think, the Enigma and the Lich, it's beautiful. I think uh, Leb, ugh, I'll call him Leb, Vladimir is definitely going to play <laughs> Rubik this time. Okay, no, Rubik has become popular because it seems like teams nowadays are going for heroes that have a lot of abilities, like yeah. not just um, right click, it's like a yeah. draw or something, yeah, like that. You sure they um, won't put the Rubik mid? Tranquilo is the mid mm. Um Well, I actually don't know. I have seen that um, Battle Drum might be playing mid now. I actually am not sure, but we will I see. think Rubik can hold its own against an OD with the dis if he keeps his distance. Yeah, but unfortunately, Rubik won't scale like an OD would. Yeah, that's true. No, um, yeah. But I mean, if, if, if Rubik can get a great steal like uh, Black Hole, that's. That's, that's more than scaling as a hero. He'll do his job if he gets a great black okay. hole. Mm. But how do we think these lanes are going to go here? Let's look at um, Montford first. Um, obviously, the Juggernaut Grimstroke is a safe lane. So, what, Rubik, Spirit Break, offlane? Or would it be Juggernaut, yeah. Rubik, and then Grimstroke, Spirit Breaker? No. It's going to be a, a Vladimir yeah. Spirit Breaker, actually. Yeah, we are. I think he's playing the Spirit Breaker. It's probably going to be Tranquilo on the Rubik. Mm. Mid. No. Oh no, no he's dead, not anymore, yeah. Okay. I think, yeah. What about Nukem Jukem here? Yeah, because they have potentially two offlaners that need farm here, sort of. The Slado and the Enigma. Um OD could go mid, yeah. Which probably safe lane. Well yeah. I mean um sure, you know, even Enigma and Slado in lane can be so deadly. Imagine the Malefic. Enigma's gonna be the, uh, the spot. Mm, probably. Oh. Um, yeah. I mean, think about it. They they have a lot of they have a lot of catch. So the OD has the bubble, the Lich has the pull, the Slado is probably gonna go blink. Enigma might not even need a blink. He could probably just run up there and ult him if they're locking okay. down everyone. That's what yeah, I would true. think. It's a it's a yeah. very it's a lane winner that combo because imagine Midnight Pulse with the Malefus and Slado just stunning Slytherin Crush yeah. and then the Bash. That's brutal. Yeah, they. <sighs> They do have a lot of um, damage coming out here by right clicking and um, lockdown on Nukem Jukem. But I think Zal's have a lot more throw out at them at the moment. Uh, Nukem Jukem just have a lot of big abilities, I feel. Like Lich Ulti and Enigma yeah. Ulti. They okay, definitely bands, yeah. have played the draft into a wombo combo here. Montwood here banning um, a carry, another carry, or two carries. Uh, Wraith King and the Morphling, and then Nukem Jukem opting for the, the Axe. Uh, Vlad does, does play Axe a lot, I know that, but maybe they don't know that he play, is, also plays Breaker. Yeah. Five seconds. They're probably scared of Axe maybe jumping. Uh, actually, that Axe ban is a bit of a oh, Void Spirit ban. The Axe ban is a bit of a weird one because I would think that Slardar counts as an Axe. But... Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, well, what do you think the last two picks will be here? Um, less than a minute left for Montwood. Um, um, what mid? What mid will they take here? What mid do they do there? 
To be honest, I don't what, know what Battle Drone plays. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Tide. Okay. So, Tide Hunter, Rubik Mid. So, it is a Rubik Mid. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm, they could, could even the play the... Mid. They could even play the Grimstroke Mid. Hmm, they could do it. Sure. They could do it. off tier. Wow. If the Grimstroke is mid, the Tide Hunter could offlane while the Spirit Breaker yes, roams. Rubik and Juggernaut in the safe lane. I think it's going to be Tide Hunter mid. Spirit Breaker, Rubik offlane. Oh, well, how's man. the Tide Hunter going know, against an OD? It could. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, I don't know, actually. Sure. It could be anything because oh, Battle Drome in this team, I've never seen him play in the team before. And I have a feeling Tranquilo might be off mid. Okay. And well, Battle Drome is on yeah. mid. For Nukem Jukem. Who is the mid player for Nukem Jukem? Is it? It's not red. Uh, it's. Puppet. No, it's Puppet, I think. Puppet, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think red's the carry, right? I think so. For 45 seconds, um, what could they take here? They already have their mid, they need their safe lane. What yeah. safe laners would do well against Well, you the see, Zyles this is team. where the Zyles have done well, I guess, with the drafting phases. Look at all the carry bands they have. There's only one hero in that band, no, two, that aren't carries. They yeah. are cores, yeah. but they're not carries. Underlord and yeah. Tinker. Like, that's, that's what I'm talking about, this pick your carry early, then ban every other well, carry that's in meta. Troll. Yeah, troll Troll's work, in, yeah. The, in the pool. Oh, it's a spark as well. Oh, man. They, see, I think Nukem Jukem are gonna have to get BKBs, because... Oh, they're Tranquilla playing the Tard. Yeah, oh, um, man. So they're gonna have to get BKBs against a Tard Hunter. Um, it's just too much stun. If he gets a massive Ravage off, they'll be in huge trouble. He can also Ravage um, far away from the Enigma ulti and stop him. So not a bad pick for that too. So it's probably going to be a Rubik mid. Okay. I, I don't know. All the Tranquilo could still go mid on the Tard. Well, folks, I guess we'll see you once this game starts. Yeah. I'm um, looking well she... forward to seeing some black holes, Brad. Remember, um, three or more people in the black hole, you can shout the black hole thing. Can I can I do a soft black hole if it's only two people, and then a big black hole mm. if it's? Uh, yeah, I guess you oh, can try. Yeah. You can try, I'll do try that. my best. I'll if he misses best. a black we'll hole completely, out. what will you do then? Because I mean, what... then I'll shout Echo Slammer Jammer because he has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> or, yeah, <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to make up these rules. Next time. Oh, okay, yeah, before we start casting. I guess, yeah. There's going to be a few heroes, like Magnus's RP. <laughs> Who else, like... Enigma, Black Wait, Hole. Okay. Let's talk about this. Who, which lineup do you favor here? I'm, I'm liking Zells. I do like Zells as well. Yeah. The Nukem Jukem have a lot of experimental um, ability here though i'm using him yeah I, I don't know what if he's in the meta at the moment mm -hmm. i feel like if if mwg can cut those massive lts yeah then they should be fine but if they get caught and if they stick together and they don't spread out yeah. i think they could be in danger 100 percent. yeah I, um, said, I, that. I do like the zoles i do like the zoles lineup because um they ha it looks like they have something to uh, to jump them with, like Tranquilo on the Tide. And they have React with the, the Rubik. So, like, he can react to steel spells, react to account, like, as a counter initiation. Well, one thing we're not seeing here, Matt, is what we've been seeing... Sorry, Luda. What we've been seeing um, the past few games we've been casting throughout that tournament, Captain's Mode League, is five-man smokes right at the beginning. Yeah, that's so true. They're gonna just be fighting two, two b two, two b three here for these runes. Already a D-Ward here from Tranquilla. Very nice. Looks like Enigma. they swapped the lanes around. Enigma losing his ward straight away. Thirty seconds to back. Um, three top. I think they're just contesting. Oh, okay. Will it be? It looks like it's gonna be a tri lane off lane. Yeah. For, um, Radiance here and a uh, solo tar dancer. Tri lane. Um. Offlane for um, Nukem Jukem as well. Wow, uh, how's this? Yeah, you know yeah. why I think they've done this? Because the Slardar is a massive counter to the Juggernauts. So they probably want to, like they've done, is just confuse the lane. Slardar's bot, Juggernaut's not there. Counter now. has been countered. <laughs> well, um, I think Slark thought he put a ward down there, pinging 
right by Smoking Vega, but Smoking Vega playing it well here and taking the ward much further up. Yeah. Okay, here we go. He has the rotation from Lich. So it'll be a 2v2. Um, okay. I came a long way I'm not sure about top to though. What die. is he doing here? Looking to get a deep ward so he can get a courier snap? Yeah, oh, but it looks he's like courier snap ward. Unlucky. Yeah, I just... Okay. Um, I feel like Tranquilla is going to battle here because he is against an Enigma. But if Enigma starts pushing, then he will start crushing Slada with his... Oh, there's a Blade Fury now on the Slark. <laughs> Slark doesn't have any any jump to get away. Okay, he's fine though. Thanks for that. There's even a nice solve there from, I think, Lich. Uh, um, well, only a minute into the game now, not a lot happening. Tard, uh, top of the net worth. Oh, now it's Courier. Bottom. Like a mummy with uh, Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I like that one. That's cool. Yeah, Tarn's actually sitting at the top of the last hits um, graph, yeah? The last oh, hit stands. Yeah. Enigma's um, bushing the bushing. triangle, so yeah. Tard is going to have a much better lane here with him in the bush. Yeah, that's actually quite nice. I mean, both both teams have played this, this laning phase quite well already with just positioning where their heroes on the map, you know? And then we're in the jungle, Slardar taking on Tart solo, and it looks like a 3v2 here. Um, do you, what do you, do you think um, Enigma, after the, his mana boots he's going for, is going to go for a quick um, mech, or do you think he's going to go for the initiation on Blink? I would hope Blink. What do you think, Brad? Um, it's... yeah, oh, I mean, top. it's a jungle. Well, it's it's initiation jungling... top. Uh, yeah, oh, he fine. gets away, yeah. Sorry, yeah, no, I think it's a jungling enigma. He's gonna go those mana boots, or he's gonna go straight GG boots actually for the team item. Because okay. as you said at the beginning, he he has a lot of initiation on his team, so he could probably yeah. just walk in, and they probably need that to survive all of all of uh, MWG spells. Yeah, definitely. He's gonna enigma. I think both on both sides of it, they're gonna have to get BKBs because the enigma can easily black hole more than one, and um. Hard Hunter can easily stop Enigma from black holing with his ulti. Yeah, maybe that's um, also another um, reason they had that about hard. The right clicking wall going on here between Grimstroke and Lich. Oh, it looks oh. like Lich may be in trouble. No. Yeah. Okay. No, no, maybe Grimstroke's in trouble, yeah. Oh, oh there's an nice self. Thought Vlad was going Unlucky. to. Oh, there we go. There is a charge there. Oh. Yeah, it looks like Ooh. he's going to get it there, but first blood, well done, Vlad. Vlad him, yeah. Good, Good job there. there, Vlad. How did you see him from all the way over I, there? Yeah. I honestly don't know. Maybe they weren't lying when they said they're using Something hex. Something's having bottle Tranquil, though. Uh, I think he was just in vision, eh? Oh, yeah. bottom, yeah. Oh, man, Tranquilo's oh, man. in a bit of trouble, yeah. Nice anchor smash, just to... Oh, man, looks like he's going to drop the... He is running for his life. He might... Let... Oh, he might make it. Slither oh. and crush missed. Man, he does take tower aggro there. Yeah, Tide has a two tank with that anchor smash against two melee heroes. Yeah. Okay. What are they? Are they swapping again? Yeah, they're swapping lanes. Looks like it. Yeah. I mean, Lock that, bottom. They they did pick that slot to counter the jug. I don't like um, Tide Hunter here trying to trade last hits with. Um, Slark, his anchor smash may be very strong against him, but um, the Slark is stacking those. Yeah. Shift, um, attributes. He's on, he was on 11, but it's dropping. Oh, oh there's a kill. SPD gets a kill on the Slardar. Under the tower. Oh my word, you're under the tower. I was going to say, this tri lane needs to start getting something out of it more than, I guess, last hits. Because there's two of these supports that are sitting with the carry, who's getting all the farm. While, oh, there we go. There's a charge top. Yeah, it looks like Lich is actually dropping quite quickly here. Oh, nice work by Grimstroke. Vlad is chasing. He gets another kill. Two kills already for Vladimir. Fuck off. <laughs> what a name. Yeah, um, no rotations coming in here from Nukem Jukem. No. Uh, maybe no, this whole... Yeah, maybe this whole lane swap thing is just throwing them off a little bit. Just with the rotations. Oh, now rotation. Okay, so... Looks like Enigma's coming top to help his mates a little bit. They're getting a bit bullied. Um, for nearly five minutes into the game, yeah. There's a room um, popping up soon. Yeah, might maybe fighting for this? No. 
I'll take that as tribute. Gonna be a two for two trade here off the runes, I think. Yeah. Um, so the last hits. Yeah, Slark on 10. As yeah. um, Immortal Guardian also says in the chat, that's not too good for Nukem Jukem. No. Um, battling. 10 last hits, like I said, 29 on the opposing carry um, yeah. of Juggernaut. And the Tide sitting on 30 as well. Oh, there's a Ravage by Tide. He gets an Anchor Smash. Oh, One more hit on the Slark. No, he just gets away with the pounce. That was nice. unfortunate there. Oh, man, Tranquilo nearly getting a kill on a solo Slark. Good Ravage. It looks like um, they're setting up mid, maybe, with the uh, Barrow. Wanting to go on this OD, baiting him in here, trying to get the Astral. Oh, there we go. Oh, Astral yeah. beautiful. There was a nice Astral. Oh, nice. <laughs> Astral back at the Rubik. There's a charge by Vlad. He does get it uh, uh, out of tower range. Is he a telekinesis? Oh, there's a bash. Oh, they oh, committing, yeah? They have gone by, uh, past the tower. Vlad is taking aggro. He is very low. Good boy is very low. Enigma's in. He doesn't have ulti, but he's here to support. Oh, man. Uh, there we go. Astral on uh, Vlad. Can Burrow get away? Uh, he does. The Rubik's um, imprisonment there just gave time for the rotation coming from the Enigma. Ooh, I think Vlad getting Malefist. Yeah, he is in trouble. The Malefist stopping the charge, but he's running. There's an arcane here for Rubik. It looks like he is going to go grab it. Oh, might be dying. Pop. Yeah, yeah, there's a silence on the Slardar. Let's just trying to help him out. Blade Fury by the Juggernauts. Slardar opting to hit him with the bash. Oh, he gets a good stun, the Grimstroke. SPD might be in trouble here. Charged by Spirit Breaker, he gets the kill. Oh my word. Vlad is... Pause. Wow. Oh no, not a great pause here from... Um, Montwood, right in the middle of a fight, and rotations are coming in. Uh, yeah, I think S SPD might die here, but a great clutch plays by Vlad. Yeah, saving him there for sure. Yeah. But inevitably, Juggernaut's dead, yeah. Yeah, it does look like he is going to die here, unfortunately. I mean, they... Wow, they did do so well there. Yeah. But good rotations. Yeah. Hard Hunter sitting at 40 last hits already. Yeah, he's doing really well in that off lane. I think it was a great uh, lane swap. There we go. Getting back underway. Oh, SPD oh, does die. They are on the chase now. You can juke them. I'm chasing Ooh. them down. Grimstroke, God, very man, low. Man. I think Grimstroke's going to die, yeah. definitely. Yeah. It's a level 4 Astral. Spirit Baker trying to get the cooldown on his charge here. Don't think he is going to get it. Oh, he does! And the Manifest is off! Wow, yeah, Barathrum playing this really well. I don't think he went far enough. Oh, he looks. Oh, oh, great plays, Vlad. Yeah, playing play. nicely here. Yeah, playing the, uh, really pl well this game, yeah. Sure. Um, let's look at Rubik versus this o OD. OD already got his Meteor Hammer. Rubik? Going for Phase Boots yeah. and... Wand. Okay, but so we don't is... really have an uh, indication yet of exactly what he's going to be going for. And another, another pause. pause. It looks like they are having internet issues. But you see how this... Is look at look at Odie's items. All he has is a meteor hammer. That's it. Yeah, well, that's what they do nowadays. Yeah. Eh? Grand ping bug. Okay. Well, yeah. Um... Well, immortal guardian. I think that he says die lost safe and off, and it's a huge problem. Yeah. I think that lane switch was actually a good a good option. You know, in a draft, when you first pick your carry, you you should be willing to make a lane swap if you need to because you will get countered in the off lane so the enigma is actually ahead now of the juggernaut so enigma farming well uh, oh okay gosh. so we, look we, we we have our uh decision here from enigma going straight for the blank dagger not going for the greaves yeah. as you thought brad oh wow okay so wanting that initiation mm. maybe wanting to make things happen a little earlier than i think um we thought oh look at bottom Vlad going on yeah, oh, there's a charge. Vlad might make Tranquilo more plays here. He is coming in from afar here with full HP, oh, full no. mana. Oh, that's an orb. Unlucky. Charge of Darkness doesn't hit. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, but death. <laughs> doesn't need to. Yeah, it doesn't need to. Uh, haste bottom. OD running towards them. Maybe trying to catch something? No. A little bit scared, eh? Yeah. Oh, no, what has he got on his way here? Some boots. Uh, some st standard boots uh, for second item.
Uh, uh, let's look at Juggernaut. Juggernaut, yeah. For the Battle Fury boat, like Ooh, we were. Oh man, look, Ravage spots. Tranquilla getting away, just getting away, but it looks like he might die oh, here. Juking. Oh, good juking. Oh my word, Ooh. great juking there by Tranquilla. Yeah, oh wow, no, oh, to run. He looks like he he couldn't get that Charge of Darkness off now. There's a Maleficus. He is bubbled. Can he get away? Great escape by, uh, by Vlad. Oh, he can't, it seems. Unlucky. Beautiful. But great jukes there by Tranquilla. Oh, nice save by Vlad there. Yeah, Vlad. Vlad is playing really well this game, I think. You know, the first 10 he minutes. Us up. He'll be MVP for sure. Definitely, yeah. Making so much happen. Um, okay, um, let's have a look at. We're about 9 minutes in. Let's have a look at net worth, maybe. Juggernaut to the top. So, Juggernaut, even though he isn't at the top of the last hits uh, tally, he is at the top of the net worth tally. Rubik second. That's great. Enigma quite far down, even though he is quite far up on the net uh, last hits. Last hits, I guess he hasn't been a part of the fight. So, wow, oh. good boy dropping. What? Man. Didn't even I see that happen. I didn't even see that. Yeah. Well done, Battle I'm, Drone. I'm getting a kill. It. But look at the stolen intel. He's got 230 stolen. Oh, uh, yeah, from using the imprisonment, yeah. Wow, that's great. I mean, that's really using the spell well that you've stolen. Yeah, I'm trying sure. to see what you can do here, mid. Oh. But, you know, Barra running away from a solo Slark. I guess he's he might have other things to do. He does. He's charging mid. Or charging oh. top. Yeah, he's charging Lich. Oh, there's some action top here. Nice little and crush on Grimstroke. Grimstroke drops. Oh, man, he gets the silence off of him. Enigma here. He's going to try and maybe get a black hole. Barra stopping the charge. They're going to meet each other in the bush. Oh, they're looking at each other. Nice little standoff there, but deciding to run away. Odie now meeting the, the Burra. Oh, he tries to get an Astral. If he does, Burra's in a bit of trouble here. There's a Mimi Hammer dropping on his face. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, Slytherin... I mean, Slardar coming in here. He gets a first hit bash, but he's in a bit of trouble. Vlad running in. Oh, is this the first black hole? Brad, are you ready? Oh, it doesn't look like it. Not yet. Mm, that silence. Oh yeah. Oh man, it's coming. Getting in. Close to his blink dagger though. Yeah. Oh, bottom. Will will Slark win this fight out oh, against like Titan? He, he is doing well, stacking the essence. Enigma coming in to follow up. Good oh, ravage. He's huge. gonna get the kill definitely. There we go. Good he point. does this time. Oh, there's a follow up, Maleficus. There's a black hole on him. Do you think he'll waste he gonna do it? He is doing oh, it. Oh, he is did that a, Is that a, it might be enough for this? He's got it. Okay. Brad, that was worth it. Where was your black hole, Brad? Ah, oh, oh, you yeah, said that's... one person, so I couldn't. I actually <laughs> hold my, my excitement. Oh, okay. Brad, about to come in. Oh, yeah. Wow, well, well done there. SPD getting a kill on Nerd Kitty. Vlad just going balls to the wall, passing the tower, getting bubbled. Oh, He's in him. a bit of trouble. Yeah. Oh, unlucky there. Man, he. Oh, damn, okay. I thought he was gonna get out, but yep. Sanity's eclipsed too much for a burrow. Got the IQ oh, of a some, cow. Some action happening, yeah? Um, at least. Not a lot of objective taking happening, though. Um, not a single tower falling yet, and 11 minutes into this game. It's just like a blood I think they need to start boss. using this um, meteor hammer to get some towers. Because it is strong, very strong against towers. Rubik coming in here, he does bubble um, Astral Ward, Astral Imprisoned OD. Oh, he's in a bit of trouble here, Slytherin crash on him. There's a silence by the Grimstroke. He has no mana though. Battle Drone losing a lot of HP, he's doing well to survive, but one more hit I think. Oh, good self! Man, Slardar on a bit of trouble, Battle Drone trying to get out. Charging in from the side. Yeah, oh, they get a kill on the Lich. Great oh, job. Good juke. Oh, this MWG team is just. G Dave. Oh man, who is Nukem Jukem? MWG or. The Dyer? There's been so many jukes already. Well played, Rubik. <laughs> Great um, jukes. How you could see him over those trees, but I guess it is daytime. Um, so the vision. Was, um, had the. Throws of haze on them. Ah, oh, there's uh... some. Okay, I did not even battle, see that. Battle Drone pulling out Jukes and getting a lot of damage on red. The MWG team is looking strong. I mean, they're yeah. playing this well. It, it, thing is though, it's still only a 1k advantage. Yeah. At the moment. Juggernaut looking at what he can do here. Bites on the um, Slark. Yeah, so Slark seems to be going for Midas. So I think 
They want to check up. this a little late. Yeah. It's trying to catch up, probably. You wouldn't. Um, yeah. Let's have a look at the Juggernaut's items. Okay, so Juggernaut nearly has the Battle Fury. Oh, no, he doesn't have mana. Yeah, uh, rotation's coming there. in the bottom. Maybe he wants to go on the Juggernaut. He is low on mana, so this could be an issue. Red does have blink, but no B, uh, B, B, no black hole. No black hole, yeah, 40 seconds for that. Uh. Tranquilo taking an ancient stack here. He's also trying to rush that blink. Going of lads oh. as well. Going some team item here. I think once, maybe okay. the, the... Oh, Meteor Hammer bots. SPD gets the Blade Fury off. Magic resistance. Oh, Barra coming in with the charge. He gets manifest. It does stop him. Oh, that's a good blink and a nice Omni Slash, but they do get out. Both teams opting to back out. There is a, a Ravage, is there? Yeah, there is. And the Black Hole's coming up in 10 seconds. This oh, could wow. be a big this part. could be. Yeah, Brad, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm watching. Good, good. Oh, what about if Rubik steals the Black Hole? Oh, well, man, you gotta do it. Yeah, you gotta do it twice then. But in a different voice. Oh, there we go. No. That's nice. Um, Juggernaut. Oh, still. Battling to get to finish this Battle Fury. Um, getting close, I guess. Uh, less than a thousand now. Seven hundred or so. Oh, he's going. Charge of Darkness on the OD after the bubble. There's no bubble to save him. Slardar is here. Good ravage by the Tide Hunter. They all oh, there's the bubble on the oh, the OD. There's a big chain frost pumping in here behind the tower. Oh, there's a good steal! Rubik gets a Chain Frost! It's hitting them! Oh my word, it does a lot of damage. Black Hole on the Rubik! There's no way he can steal that unless he's got quick fingers! No, it's on cooldown though. Wow! Odie getting the kill on um, Vlad up top here. Red also dying. Beautiful play there by Rubik. Um, oh man, he gets the pounce on the Rubik now. Rubik might be in a bit of trouble. He's got Bounty. Oh, Astral Imprisonment. It's hard here to help him out. Gets a nice anchor smash, Rubik drops. It's hard next. Um, unfortunately for Rubik dying there, but Rubik had a good play there. Enigma was coming in there to Black Hole and he astraled him with the uh, Artful Devourer's stolen um, astral. And then, and stole Lich ult. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful play. That was great. Nice addition here to the MWG team. I think this is his first um, <laughs> proper scrim or something. So, like we were saying, um, Tidehunter, once he gets his flads, I think, they, um, uh, the Radiance will start pushing, taking some towers, because it'll be a little bit more sustained. Um, they do have three melees, so it benefits them most. What is the Slardar going for? Okay, Blink Dagger and the double hits. I'm grouping up happening mid. No, okay. Man, there's already fun fights to watch because there's so much happening. I mean, there's there's so many ultis to, to get blown no. here, and then there's also the Rubik to steal another one and blow it off again. That's amazing. Oh wow, the OD is actually farming quite nicely now. He's got his blink tiger now as well. Jug is yeah. Jug is sitting at top of the net worth by almost 1,000k. 1,000. Oh, yeah, hey. well, sorry, <laughs> one one k. Well, Imagine <laughs> that! are definitely cool hacks these boys. Well, are. and he's just gotten his fury, so he's going to be ramping up his farm soon and oh, going on top. Oh, charge! Oh, what no. a great Slytherin crush! But there's an ulti there by the Barra. He is silenced. Oh, good Omni Slash! He's going to drop. Barra just and doing well again to take aggro tower. First tower going to fall here, it seems. Yeah. That was a good Slytherin crush, but none of his mates came to save. Yeah, unfortunate. I mean, that was a really well timed Slytherin crush. That's hard. Yeah. Um, it seems like um, Newcomb are just in a little bit of a catch up mode. Oh, here we go. Vlad catching the slock. Oh, no. yeah. He's playing a dangerous game, yeah. Oh, he's oh, trying oh, to get oh, the courier. Oh, he Vlad. does. Well done, Vlad. Oh, Vlad him, yeah. There we go. What's he going to do? Yeah, running into trouble. Oh, what a nice little mick there. Slytherin, uh, Slaughter on him. Slytherin's his new name now. Looks like Brad's. Uh, oh yeah, Vlad is gonna drop. Unfortunate. Yeah, you know, Vlad getting a bit too confident He's there. I think. Off on the edge, guys. Yeah, he yeah, is. Definitely. That's but that's Vlad. If you know Vlad, that's how he plays. He likes good. to do that. Likes to live life on the edge. I think once the 20, 20 to twenty-five minute mark comes, we'll be seeing a lot more pushing on objective base. So at bottom. Oh, he's about to oh, get he gets another ravage. Using the ravage extremely well here. 
every time you he know, does. He's used it on single hero so many times and they've gotten a fair amount out of it. Yeah. The, it's hard to doing well here. Oh, someone I mean, coming in is, bottom. Yeah, there Prima. is a black hole on Enigma. I wonder if he can do something here. They are gonna go straight for the Tide. Not the best option, but he is losing a bit of HP. Battle drone here to help him out. Oh, Astral Imprisonment. Enigma, Enigma waiting. In oh, here's a nice charge by Vlad. He's coming in on the Slardar. Mindfack is in a bit of trouble. Good blink! Oh, another... Another defensive blink backwards by the Enigma. You know, the, the this Slot and Rubik Astral Imprisonment is doing more than I yeah. feel even the Black Hole is going to do for Rubik. I agree, he's, yeah. He's just, he's just imprisoning, saving mates um, when Oak's gone, him, when um, imprisoning them and his friends. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is going to be the fight. 4v4, 4v4 bottom. Brad, man. are you ready, Brad? I'm ready. I'm yeah, ready. there's a nice initiation there. Oh, no. oh, oh. Nice bubble on the Burra. He's getting a Meteor Hammer. Oh, there's a nice Slytherin Crush. Burra drops very quickly. Unfortunate. That's, that Slardar um, minus armor there absolutely crushed. Mm. No, no uh, Ravage. Oh, there we go. There are two here. There's a bubble there to help him out. Midnight Pulse by the Enigma. Oh, he drops very quickly, Nerd Kitty. Unfortunate. Trading at one for one there. Uh, four, 4k ahead now for they are... onto it. SPD's just farming nicely with the Battle Fury while their team kind of, I could say, just delays. You know? Yeah. The, the, the opposing draft. Yeah, Slark's trying to catch up. Um, another Meteor seven, Hammer. Seven Duke or Dukem can get one big team fight, they could turn that net worth the closer to their southern current years. Yeah, I think they're waiting for an item or two on one of the heroes here, because like you, like you just pointed out, if they have a, one big fight that goes their way, they can get some objectives, maybe Roche, because there's, there's still all the uh, Radiant tier 1s up. Reasonably low, all of them, but... Yeah. Not down yet. Two down for the dire. Bottom, yeah, pretty low. I just think MWG's lineup can just do a, a bit more. Oh, than Vlad's doing Newcombs. work here again. Looking for oh, another courier work. kill. That same oh, bird. It's the same good. courier, is it? Good. Oh, he got it again, <laughs> man! <laughs> oh, and it looks like they are going on the ledge. First is courier, now him. Ah, oh, he drops very quickly. Nice. Nerd Kitty is dead. Odie trying to come up. Maybe can bubble Mimi Hammer. Maybe MWG should get out. They don't. SPD's in. Looking for Mommy Slash. Oh, there's oh, a great go, bubble. Go, Battle Drone's got it. Oh, what a ravage! Great ravage there by Tranquilo. Nice Omni Slash. That's a double kill for SPD. Triple? There we go. The triple. Oh, man. Oh, that Tranquilo. Oh man, I don't know, Tranquilo is just pulling out a massive Ravage. Yeah, beautiful, right on top of their tower there. But, yeah, um, that's... Catching them totally unawares. That's I what I'm saying. Slark. Enigma is a nice pick, especially against a spinning Juggernaut, but like, play it reserved like this, and you go, you're gonna battle to actually yeah. do anything. Enigma is going for the, the BKB though, so that will help. That's yeah, he what keeps I'm getting caught by was, the Titan yeah. I was gonna say, the, the only item that's gonna help him out, like, that's gonna help him wreck, is a BKB. Okay, oh, so uh, Tranquilo's stealing the rune from, <laughs> oh, <laughs> from Battle Drum. Uh, pointing out exactly what he wants them to do. Yeah, go straight up top, take objective. And Bring in the map. And fighting mode now. He has his Battle Fury Aegis and he has a Manta style, so he's going yeah. to fight. Doc has picked up his Shadow Blade now, at least. Um, going for the break, probably for the Tart Hunter. Okay, rotation's coming in bottom. Looks like they want to kill this block, but no, just wanting to save the tower. Oh man, 13,000. They do get the nice lift on the slot here. Yeah? Oh, Grimstroke's also helping out the Tide with the nice stun here. He does get the pounce on the Tide Hunter. Nice initiation, actually. This is turning out nice for them. Grimstroke down. Burra charging the back line. Oh, he gets Astral Imprisonment there. There's two Astral Imprisonments going off. Nice little in a crash. They are targeting the Swallow. Oh, there we go. There's oh, there's a black sorry. hole. Sorry, Brad. Don't you too. You could kind of whisper it now. It is doing a lot of work there. 
Oh man, Tranquilo getting a bit out of that, but there's four down for SPD. No, this is the fight they needed, eh? Newcom. Uh, get, and getting objective straight away off it. They could even push further here. But also, the um, Montwood's carry wasn't with them there, and he still has the Aegis. Yeah. So, a little bit of a mistake for Father and they're not um, getting the Jug to TP. Well, he doesn't have a TP, it looks. Oh, okay, it's on cooldown. It's on 30 cool seconds. Down. So, the player. They, they should have not taken that fight, I think, without him. He could have contributed a lot there. Yeah, I think so too. But maybe they were just forced into stats a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Well, the thing is though, he looked for that fight themselves, because mm. the Slark was taking the bottom tower, and then they all TP'd in behind the tower. Yeah. They were the one forcing it, not... Um... You can... Uh, okay, let's, I think, look, have a look at, yes, see, lots of BKBs coming out. OD. They need um, it. Enigma. Um, this bag, dark. That tide ulti is hurting them, they definitely need that BKB, I think. They're gonna have three or four BKBs by in the next ten minutes. We look at the win probability graph, the, um, Zyles are sitting on 77%. There's a bash in that one, the Jugger. Yeah, I was about to say, this Juggernaut is looking farmed. Um, Battle Fury, Anti Style, and Basher. Yeah, that's 24 what minutes in. SPD is really good at just farming a hero up, especially Juggernauts. Yeah. Well, Juggernaut is quite strong. Oh, here we oh, go! Oh, they do initiate on him. There's a few Bashers. Initiation with the Bash, a Manta. Mindfuck oh, running for his life. Oh, there's a Gush on the, sl the Slardar. They're lifting him. Midnight Pulse are trying to chase everyone away. Doesn't work. Slardar does. Yeah, um, the Slardar maybe not realizing that he had the Aegis there trying to get a quick cheeky pick off. OG stealing Arceus at least. Hmm. But, yeah. um, Montwood getting objectives. Bounty for tier 2. Yeah, tier two yeah. I think, I think once this. Yeah. Once this Enigma can get his BKB, it will open him up. He can be less afraid. You know, yeah, just that, jump in and ulti at this mult. Going for the racks. Yeah, they are yeah, pushing them to racks, push, yeah. Wanting them to come back to base, uh, forcing them to come back. Do any of them have TPs? Yes, they all have their TPs available. Oh, yeah. still on cooldown, so they know they can't just yet. They're gonna have to come back. Ooh, there we go. There's the uphill here. There's a Midnight Pulse to try and chase them away. Blade Fury pops on the Juggernaut. Oh my gosh, Slark is seen. They do silence him, they're taking him out. Massive Ravage. Lich Frost Elsie pumping as well. Omni Slash going. Oh my word, there we go. There's... Yeah. Oh my word. They have taken the tower. They are uphill dominating this uphill now. Yeah. Oh, Lich goes in. I mean, a Lich Slaughter, they do get the stun, the OD. Oh man, he's gonna drop very quickly. Yeah, Montwood wanting to use this Aegis here. Yeah, great work um, by Montwood. This is OBG to the max, yeah? Yeah, I see. Ah, okay. Oh, nah, little comment nah. happening here. Yeah? I wonder what that was about. Um, Montwood now getting back, playing safe. Holy Probably moly, wanting yeah. to push, push other objectives. Still a tier, tier 1 bottom. That's, this is great work, but I, I'm really liking the way Montwood are playing. Yeah. It seems like Newcomb are playing Montwood's game here, not playing their own. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think Montwood's lineup have just more to do. They can do more with that lineup. And I think it's also based a lot around them reacting, being able to react to the opposing draft very well. They can react to it. Their lineup is makes it easy for it. Okay, a tight hunter going for a desolator, yeah. Oh man, trying to get physical damage running. Oh, I have seen. Oh yeah, two hundred plus two hundred damage. Well, things happening yeah, in the bush. Looks, yeah. yeah, in the bush. Big uh, chain frost. Yeah, yeah. Nasta and Alti, they are linked together, so it is oh, working. No, Black no, no, no. hole, Brad. It's a two man. Oh, oh, it. There we go, oh, no. Brad. All right, he does charge the OD. There's oh, another stun. Oh, oh, it's a one man black hole, the Brad. Oh, unlucky not. Nah. There's another Lich ulti there. This time it is from the Lich. Oh, good stun there. But Tranquilo is so tanked. They're gonna take the slaughter out. Four men down. Fortunately, the Rubik ran in there, so you could actually shout it. <laughs> there was only a two man originally. Yeah. But I watched them walking. I don't get it. You better thank. You better thank uh, Battle Drone for that later. Oh, Lich getting away. Oh, Yo. There we you go. Know, he gets a telekinesis. There's a charge from the Barra. That's good communication from MWG. 
This has been quite a um a snowball actually. Oh, oh there we go. GG already. Yeah, GG called in. I was about There's to say snowball. Rex. Oh wow. About, about five minutes ago, it was only three or four k advantage, and then it jumped to fifteen. Well, well played by Montoya. Well, well played Montoya. Uh, draw. Wow. Um, working out there for everyone. Yeah. Once that game. Yeah. Uh, thanks for Brad. To Brad for coming to guest cast. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Come Brad. Yeah, thanks well, for panelists. To, to the Dota, the Dota, um, in-game Dota people that are listening. Twitch, you can probably still hear us. Yeah, thanks very much. I know these guys have a best of three, but we're only casting the one tonight. Uh, but stick around. I think we're going to play some replay uh, highlights and try and get Vega in for a quick interview before his best of two. We'll see what we can do. Oh, game plans other dates. Ah, okay. Well said. Let's see. We'll see you guys soon. Okay, one, two, everyone. Sorry, everyone. We were just waiting at the moment for a little interview from one of the Zalzmets, Montwood. It um, won't be too long. How can I hear myself? Yeah, no, I think it's... Can you hear yourself? Yeah, I was in, um, in Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I think, yeah, there we go. I think Vlad is going to come. That was a great game. 
I mean, what a game. Yeah, that's kind of... Okay, well, tell them to come to the channel, boys, and I'll put it in. User okay. joined your channel. Hey, hey there we go. how's um, it, Vlad? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, great oh, game, man. Oh, thanks, man. Shots. So, yeah. um, are we still talking, man? So, but, yeah, we huh? still on. We live. You guys can... Okay, well, there we go. Well played. Yeah. yeah. Thank so, you. I definitely think we'll give that MVP to you. Actually. To you, you Vlad. Yeah. You played really well, but that was amazing. Thanks, guys. Is that the first time in MWG history that all three of you have thought I was the MVP? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, probably. <laughs> I've thought you were the MVP. Not these other guys. <laughs> yeah. No, you were definitely disrupting a lot. Yeah, you um, did so much early game, Brandon. It was really well played, man. Appreciate it, bro. It was really good synergy. Obviously, you guys can't hear the panel, but like, we yeah. always have Vega calling the shots, I know exactly where to be, you know, it really helps having that synergy, um, especially yeah. knowing that the tide's ready at all times with that. that old team. That's what I was saying. I think that tide pick was so crucial. He, yeah. he made you guys so much more confident, you know, yeah. and Enigma yeah. was like so worried about jumping you. Yeah. Enigma couldn't do much there against yeah. the Tard. He kept getting hit by the edge of that Tard LT yeah. every time, pretty much. Also, yeah. not to mention having a Rubik in the yeah, yeah, that Rubik. Yeah. What great steals, eh? And we we also want to give a shout out to, I think it was, Battle Drome and Tranquilo for those Jukes. Holy moly! I'm definitely yeah. going to add that to the collection. Yeah, those those two Jukes in the jungle were yeah, great. With the OD. I couldn't believe you were right, top, with the, OD yeah. With the haste. Stop. Yeah, you funny. got away. It was you as well. You no, juked. No, I, ne I, never oh, I was tranquilo. <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, have you got a best of three now? Or are you playing with another one? Yeah. Okay. I'm the next, but I'm giving my spot to our new sub. Uh, oh, awesome. Good, so it'll be a really good game. There's a bit of beef from what I hear. What? What happened? <laughs> no, not beef, beef. Just a vendetta. Billy knows one of the guys and he's. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, great. Okay, well, yeah. yeah. You. Well done Something tonight. That we tried today was um, tranquilo did call that you know this is a. Looking like a little bit of a greedy lineup for them, you know that they're going to be farm and stuff. So we got up that early ward in the jungle, which I think had a huge tipping point for our game as well. Yeah, I think oh, they yeah. were battling. They were relying on maybe one or two things, maybe Slido initiate and then black hole. But I think your guys drafting just managed to put them on the back foot in a way where they were very uncomfortable to make the first move. You sure. know. Yeah. Shout out to those guys. It's always a bloody sweating game when we're playing against new computer. They're yeah. really, really good. The I mean, makes us work as well. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Nerd Kitty. Yeah, good yeah. player. All right, yeah. So, yeah, well, well done. Play. Thanks good for, luck. yeah, good luck for the, your thing, next scrim. Sorry. Yes. Vlad, I was really wanting to message you saying, please, can you just give this Enigma five man black hole so I can scream? <laughs> yeah, we were yeah, getting Brad to, to scream once. black hole. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> I know you've been playing with these guys for a while. You never get to see a five-man black hole. Mm, especially <laughs> when Matt plays it, you're out. Well, we gave him a minimum of three people, then he can shout us. That's only because <laughs> we've only sh 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 shouted because Belgium walked, walked into, into the it. black hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, we, we actually, there was a two-man black hole. We're like, no, Brad, you can't do it now. You can't do it. And then, yeah, he walked into it. We're like, Brad, where are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well played. Good luck for your next game. Yeah, yeah good luck. Tonight, really oh, awesome. It. You guys can check it on YouTube or our stream as well. And if you, yeah, for all those viewers out there, thanks a lot as well for watching. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, check you guys soon. Thanks cool, a lot. Yeah, good night. Yes. User disconnected from your channel.